I never understand people buying dressing for salad. If you look at it, most dressing of at least 25% sugar, that's considered dessert. If you have more than 20, 25% sugar, it is a dessert. And people, uh, we eat way too much sugar. So there is nothing easier to do a classic vinaigrette that I'm going to show you here. And I'm putting shallots in it. Sometimes I put garlic. Sometimes I don't put anything at all. In fact, if you leave it a long time, if you're going to keep it a long time, then don't put anything at all. I mean, no shallot or, or, um, or garlic. But for me here, shallot, salt, pepper, mustard, French mustard, vinegar, about that amount, maybe a tablespoon of water to tone down the vinegar a little bit, and then that's it, the rest is oil, olive oil, or other type of oil, but usually I would put olive oil. I would put at least four times the oil for the vinegar. So, you know, I do a jar of dressing in one minute, and I have that in my refrigerator for a week. We can have each time I need a salad dressing, here it is. I put it, put it on the salad. Now, you see, this is holding together pretty nice, still kind of separated. I'm saying that people get berserk when the sauce is not homogenized together. But a vinaigrette should be separated so that you can toss the salad and the whole thing is glossy. If it's all together like a light mayonnaise, then it glue to the leaves and you have a big lump of it there when in fact you want the whole thing to be glossy and nice. Like this salad would be, put a little bit in there, and then I can toss it with uh, this and then, just to make it glossy. Vinegar at the last moment, the right amount of vinaigrette. That's it. A nice salad like that with the roast chicken. Perfect meal. Absolutely.